don't give my give my thing. You look beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. Where'd you get this? I told you I got it. I didn't know. I didn't show it to you. Sorry. Oh you're my so god. Handsome. You're so beautiful. <laughs> you look so handsome. <laughs> Alright. You want to go first or me? Do what? The, the vows. vows. <laughs> Did you memorize yours? Oh, oh okay. I was okay, making sure. I was at the field then. <laughs> okay. Do you want me to go first or me? They're uh, you're almost. Tall. They're almost. I know. I found you to wear flats. They look really again. pretty. You go first, right? Me? Or me. You. Yeah. It doesn't matter. You want me to go first? Yeah. Kevin, I've said this many times and I'm still in awe of what I ever did to deserve the pure and unconditional love you give me every day. You have loved me through many different seasons and I vow to love you through all of yours as well. We started out as two kids trying to figure it out together from Taco Bell runs after games to grocery store trips for our house trying to figure out what cereal we will both eat. <laughs> I'm so excited and thankful I have been able to do this all with you. You make me a better friend, sister, daughter, a more kind and patient person. You make me feel safe. There has never been a time where you've not reminded me that I'm capable and pushed me to reach for the stars at all times. I will never understand how I deserve the support you give me. Um, you are the best assistant coach and my favorite teammate for life. There are some promises I'd like to make as we start our journey as husband and wife. I vow to always fight for this love because without you there is no me. I vow to love you unconditionally through whatever this life throws at us. I vow to give you the space to grow as you have always given me and just know that I will always be your loudest cheerleader. I vow to cheer on the Lakers with you even though LeBron can be a crybaby and I'll never forgive them for what they did to Caruso. <laughs> I vow to watch new shows with you get excited about new tech savvy lawn mowers and to always eat your pickles off your chick-fil-a sandwich um, but most importantly just know that i vow to always be proud of you as i always have been i love you kevin for the boy you were the man you've become and all the versions that i can't wait to meet <laughs> thank you that was beautiful my turn i'm not gonna read it as good as you do You've been by my side for many years now. First as a friend from class in junior high, to friends on the court with respect for our games, to being my girlfriend with hundreds of miles far apart between us, to being my fiance a few miles apart between us, and finally to being my wife an arm's length away. Throughout all of this time and distance, we've remained closer than anyone I've ever held in my heart. You've loved me throughout the craziness of high school and college and have supported me with every step. I must shout out the million FaceTime calls in between because that kept us sane. And I am forever grateful for you and I promise that my love will only multiply from this moment on. I vow from this day forward that you will never face the world alone. We will continue to face the challenges placed in front of us hand in hand and I vow to answer the FaceTime call from you even though you'll be in the bedroom and I'll just be on the couch. I vow to you that my respect and appreciation for you shall never be forgotten. I will never let a day go by where I'm not reminded of how lucky I am to have, have you. I vow to cherish our adventures which have created the most beautiful moments in my life from the frequent trips to the movies we may not even like at the end of it, to traveling hours and experiencing what the world has to offer. I vow to continue learning from you for the rest of my life. You've always held a strong and intuitive mind, and I've always held you as one of my major role models. Your teachings and ideas have always been held high, even if I have had a hard time accepting um, that I'm wrong, and I hold myself accountable for my faults and I will always strive for compromise. I vow to inspire and challenge you and I will be your advocate throughout life. I welcome and accept the work that, will, that it will take to maintain our happy and healthy relationship. And this includes the unwritten rule of always splitting the last pot sticking. <laughs> and I vow to love and support the woman you are today, the wife you'll be tomorrow and the person you hope to become. 
I love every part of you and I vow to always do the same. I vow to love you fiercely and passionately with everything that I have to offer for now and forever. I vow to never forget that this is a once in a lifetime love and I will choose you every day for the days of my life. I love you too. That was good. That was good. Thank you. I love you. Hello, my name is uh, Edwin Rivas. I I'm so excited to be here to celebrate Kevin and Cheyenne with everyone. Kevin is determined and always curious. He is always learning something. Kevin always finds a way to learn about whatever it is he is interested in. Kevin is really reserved and doesn't often show or display his feelings or excitement about things. But I think the time in my life when I have seen Kevin the most excited about something, besides today, is when I, I was visiting my parents. Kevin got this excited look in his face. His eyes grew wide and told me, I'm going to propose to Shai. Do you want to see the ring? He ran to his room and cradled his ring box and was so excited to show the ring that he was going to, to give Shai. More, more than the ring, Kev was playing an elaborate proposal. He spent weeks getting rugs, building a wood shelter, and preparing a beautiful setup back at the place where they had their first day together overlooking the mountains. Cheyenne, I want to officially welcome you to the family. Everyone loves Cheyenne. She has a big heart, a fun sense of humor, and a contagious smile. Shai, you're the busiest person that I know, and I'm not sure how you accomplish everything that's on your plate some days, but your passion for the things and the people you love is very admirable. Hopefully all that hard work has prepared you for living with Kevin. I'm looking forward to seeing your relationship continue to grow. Wish you nothing but happiness, and I love you both. So instead of a toast, I'm going to remind Kevin of uh, how this kind of all started. Um, in high school, they're at a basketball game, maybe during the JV games, and Kevin sits down next to Cheyenne at T.C. Robertson. Most of the people here, the coaches, it's the wood seats up above. So I send Cheyenne a text that says he's sitting a little too close. She shows him he moves two rows back. She tries to get him to come back, and he still won't come back. So I did my job as a dad for a little while. Uh, found out they were going to have a date. <clears throat> He's coming to the house. He comes in. We kind of shake hands, and as they're leaving, uh, opens the door for him. As a dad, that, uh, that meant a lot. Maybe that's enough embarrassment. Congratulations. We're happy to have you in the family. We look forward to what the future brings, and we're happy for both of you. Cheyenne, Kevin, having proclaimed your love for and commitment to one another in the sight of God and these witnesses, it is my pleasure to, to pronounce you husband and wife. Kevin, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> I'd like to start by congratulating you both. 
both on finding the most precious thing in life, which is true love. Uh, Cheyenne, you've been one of my best friends for years now. Uh, it's clear to see that you've found the love of your life in Kevin. I just wanted to say that I appreciate the friend that you've been to me throughout all these years. Um, you've been kind, you've been that humor when I wasn't able to give it, and you've just been my person. But I'm glad that you've also found another best friend in your other half. We've been through so much together, so many laughs, so many tears. I've seen you dance like crazy at 2 a.m. in my dorm room and spending countless hours shooting in the gym, but I've never seen you happier than you are sitting next to Kevin right now. I'm so incredibly happy for the both of you, and I can't wait to witness the wonderful years of marriage that you have ahead of you. Congratulations, and I love you both.